Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial guys, I'll be showing you how to on any iPhone how to turn off um, tracking. Alright, so if you do not want to be tracked, um, there are options on your device that allows you to opt out of most of the tracking. Alright, so of course this might be suitable in your case, but do bear in mind that once tracking is on, it does help you to get stuff such as personal life ads and stuff that you might never have known about otherwise such as products which you can be targeted for so there is both a good and bad to this but of course since you might want to turn this um, feature off this is tutorial for you please do remember that you still can be targeted for a certain level of targeted ads even without this data but of course this will greatly help in reducing that um, targeting and to help to protect your privacy all right so the first thing you want to do guys is to go ahead and go into settings once you're in settings on your iphone next you're going to go down and you're going to go to seeing this has to do with privacy you're going to want to go to the privacy settings so once you're under the privacy settings here you're going to go into the option that says tracking right up here and of course, once you're here, you should see the option that says allow apps to request to track. And of course, um, by default, you can do this on an app per app basis. Notice here that these two apps in the past have requested to allow um, access to track me. And of course, while I was prompted, I actually turned these two off. So um, in here, you can actually do this on a custom basis per app, right? Maybe you have a particular app that you need this feature for. But of course, um, in my case, I do leave it on. But for you, you can just go ahead and turn it all off so you don't have to do deal with the um, pesky um, request. So just go ahead and turn this off in its entirety. And just in case you're not sure what this does, it says allows apps um, to ask permission to track you across apps and websites owned by other companies. Apps that don't ask permission may still try to track you. All right, so it does warn you about that. And of course, these apps actually ask, and I... Um, said no but of course from now on i'm just going to turn the feature off meaning that i do not want to be tracked so once you do that you should be good you can um, go back all right so another one to look out for in terms of your um, privacy in case you want to do that is just once you're back go down and under here where it says under privacy settings privacy advertising or apple advertising but on top on the option there and notice it says your personalized ads this is another one you could turn off as well to opt out. But just in case before you do that, you can read the information. It says turning off personalized ads will limit Apple's ability to deliver relevant ads um, to you, but you will but will not reduce the number of ads you receive. But of course, as we said, personalized ads. Um, I would leave this one on. It's not so bad. But of course, just in case this is another one you can turn off as well. So once you turn that off, you can go back. All right, guys, um, while you're at it, um, in case you need some more um, privacy in terms of settings, you can scroll up. We're still under settings and privacy. You can go into um, the one here that says um, location services. Notice location services is on. And of course, location services is has to do with your location. Certain apps call on your location. You can look through the list and look at the most um Look at the apps that have requested your location in the past. You can do this on an app per app basis. Do remember that some apps, however, needs access to your location, such as Maps. You would uh, make sense that Maps or Google Maps would need your precise location. But let's say, for example, social media, it doesn't need your exact location or you do not want it to allow it to have your location. You can go into, say, for example, Facebook here and notice it says here that it um, will ask for everything here that it'll ask next time. I've set it to ask whenever it needs my location. But if in case you want to up to your privacy, I've turned mine off already. Make sure precise location is off for a particular app, meaning the app won't be able to get your exact location. It will be get a general location so you can turn off precise location so it won't have a pinpoint accuracy on um, your location. Next thing, in terms of allow location access, you can set it to ask every time. Or if you can't be bothered, just set it to never. Never would indicate that, of course, it will never be allowed to 
request your location all right so you can choose never in that case it cannot access your location or um, I like the option here that says ask and then I turn off precise location meaning I'm not allowing it even if I give it um, permission to my location to see my exact location to get a general location but not my precise location all right so after this we're gonna go back again and you can do this on an individual app per app basis as I said so once all right guys so once you're back out here you're going to scroll all the way down um, at the bottom of privacy um, location services you're going to go into um, system services and of course you're going to scroll down and you're going to search for um, the option that says um, significant locations and it's uh, it's turned on here i might blur out sections of this it will ask for your face id all right and of course what's happening here is that your device is keeping track of the major areas that you frequent all right, so what you wanna do here, guys, it's a good idea to, and you might be surprised what you find here in terms of the fact that your device is keeping tabs on your main areas that you tend to frequent on a regular basis. All right, so um, just go ahead and clear the history. And notice it says here, clear history. And once you clear your history, guys, go ahead and turn off significant locations. And of course, it does give you a warning to say disabling significant locations will affect many apps and services that use personalized locations such as maps do not disturb while driving carplay siri calendar and photos of course if you accept this go ahead and turn it off and in most cases it's best to just turn it off as it won't keep track of your most significant locations all right so once you do that go ahead and you're gonna go back and of course that should in most cases cover most of the significant um privacy settings on your device um, related to tracking all right so of course i hope this was a in-depth tutorial that um, basically helped you out in improving the privacy on your iphone if you have any questions please ask them below as always guys i'm here to answer all right ricardo Gardner from blog tech tips saying bye until next time bye guys